Well, we got this uh, old Yerf dog from one of Brandon's co-workers, my brother. Uh, so we're gonna put that footage in. Uh, roll that beautiful bean footage now. Well, here it is, old blue and red uh, number 81 go-kart. Hey, there's old, old Big Red. This is the Dale Earnhardt Jr. edition. I seen it, <laughs> I was noticing the red. It's already blue. set up for racing. Got the checkered flags now. <laughs> uh, Where'd you get it painted at? This looks good. That's that, uh, it does look good. Strawberry Dick Chevy Monte Carlo paint scheme. What I'm thinking about doing is putting bigger shocks on the rear and bigger shocks on the front to lift it. And then uh, riding this around, and we got a 420 that's a high torque build coming up. I think that'd be sweet on here. Make it a one seater. I'd like a two seater. Just drive this one seater. Uh, that's why Aubrey's was decently. That way, if the kid wants to jump in there with you, can. I can flip both of us. Yeah. So all it needs is a torque converter belt. Yeah, and uh, there's an old one, part of it. Yeah, I can just take. You might be able to patch it up. Patch that bad boy up. <laughs> can you see it? Yeah. Uh, Nitro switch right here. I notice how fast it is because it blew the top coat of paint off on the top of the bars down there and most of the steering wheel. Well, we'll get it home and put a I'll belt put on, a strap it. on it first. Yeah. <laughs> so we got this thing home and I put some gas in it. She fired right up. We've never messed with a Tecumseh. So we're going to see what we can, what kind of power we can squeeze out of this thing. This old Yerf dog, the front end isn't that great. It only has like half an inch of suspension travel. Not that great. So right now we're just gonna focus on getting it running. We need to put new torque converter pulleys on it. And we're gonna go with a brand new torque converter. This has a seven inch rear pulley, the driven pulley. We're gonna just put a 30 series on it from Go Power Sports and just not use the back plate. Uh, so that'll kick it down to a six inch because this takes a weird belt size. Now I'd rather put a six inch pulley on it and have the standard 30 series uh, torque converter belt size just in case we tear one up. So uh, we're gonna swap those pulleys out and then run a kill switch because all these lines, I mean, these lights will be taken off, this tail light, all this junk will be taken off. And I'm sure we may paint it later because this thing looks rough, I tell you. That should be good for 10 or 15 miles an hour at least. Oh yeah. I'm saying if it seemed more than 15 miles an hour, this paint would probably fuck off. <laughs> all this old masking tape is like corroded to the frame and they just, I don't know what they was doing when they painted it. Like what in the world? Like look at the steering wheel. Did the blue rough center cap and then the red. Uh, it was just a kid probably playing around with some rattle cans, but. So we'll get to swapping these pulleys out and see how good this old Tecumseh runs. And it's governored, so probably not gonna be the greatest thing in the world. So we'll be ripping that off soon. So it wasn't that bad breaking this thing loose. Now it's getting a little rough right on the edge of them threads. The ideal thing to do be to take that rear tire off but i guarantee that would be a fiasco these wheels just slide directly onto the uh the axle and those are the worst at getting off no oh, bro no she came off there definitely about run the bolt yeah money that old seven inch pulley look how let's see how worn it was it's a green spring in there. It's a true comment. Yeah, not horrible. Let's see how good the new one is. Oh yeah, like twice. As you can see, size difference. That's why we can't, you know, it's just a pain getting these belts and they're kind of unique belt sizes. So I'm just gonna go with this old classic. Bam. Grab a new nut. We as humans get so used to impacts and drills. When I got to manually unscrew a screw, I fall apart. Just ruins your day, dog. Ruins it. The it also gives you an idea of how great these brakes are. <laughs> that I'm Not great. On, <laughs> that I'm pushing on it with all my 173 pounds. And uh, you're still torquing the wheels around. What kind of brake this guy? Where is the brake? Brakes? We don't need no brakes. No, it's got a drum brake. That's dumb. We're gonna hope that don't go. 
anywhere. Now, I'm gonna take that front pulley off, which it's even, it's rough. It is rough. They got crap laying everywhere. You know, what you, my way. you know what you need? What's that? A bigger garage. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do a garage add on. Stat. I need uh, 10 times the 10 times the tools so I don't have to. I just need like eight of every tool. I need throwaway tools. Like when we get done with the project, throw all the tools away, get Start a new over. pack out. Start over. Yes. Got it. Socket came off too. This is all original comment stuff though, which I figured it would be. Anything that comes on these Jerf dogs should have been quality goodness. That's quality not quality. Rust. You see, uh, this is the main thing that will clog up a torque converter. Get this thing separated. So this don't look too bad, but you want that piece right there to flow in and out like butter and that's rough you can see it's i mean honestly i could clean this up throw some new springs in it and this would be perfectly fine and sand all that rust because that's going to eat up a belt that's just surface yeah so uh i'm sure this uh will probably be in our part sale who wants to buy a true comet piece of crap on facebook by the way yeah we've been selling all of our like stock parts trying to get rid of the the hoard um, so we got a fresh go power sports set up bam bam whoa I need a belt please sir it's like it was made for that or something flat side in yep oh great Now I've seen people ask me, do you really need that bronze bushing in there? Uh, yeah, you do. The reason for is that helps from wanting to take off at idle. So uh, you definitely want to be running that. Come on, baby. I don't think it's about got her. Come on. Now this thing should be ready to go rip around the yard. Now the last time we worked on a torque converter, my net my neighbor cussed me out. The last that was a long time ago. We probably we last a, spring, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good year ago, uh, probably. And she's outside today, so maybe just maybe I'm gonna take all this wires and lights off because they're garbage. You can go. I mean, this engine doesn't have charging cools to it so there's no point in having all this uh stuff wired up to it i hate running lights off of batteries just more to worry about they've been custom painted the wires mm, nice the longevity we cleaned up outside yesterday still looks like crap but you know we're getting there it's a lot cleaner Only goose it around the yard. It's actually really comfortable for a grown up. Look at that. That's a lot of labor in there. Got a grocery room. <laughs> right, the switches on the side of the engine, too. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Ain't coming up that hill. <laughs> She's 
weak. She is weak, that's for sure. Should we keep in mind this was a kid cart before it came here? That's true. Well, and it's a six and a half horse governored, so I mean stock jet and everything. Flip switch. Flip switch. Way up, something like yeah. water starts yeah. squirting. I think out of this pipe where they're uh, halfway welded. Yeah. <laughs> so the pipe, yeah. Oh, weren't. <laughs> I think the good news is that the turning radius is zero. Yeah. The brakes just don't work. Yeah, the brakes um, got. They worked really good when I first started, and then they it was nothing. Yeah, yeah. After well, that. once they get heated up, yeah, they're, they're nothing. Um, the power is overwhelmingly not there. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is uh, poopy. It's going to need, and I'm telling you, if we put a disc brake on it, we're going to have to put a new axle because that axle, I can already tell. You can see down in there. Oh, man, that's going to be rough. I've messed with axles about this age before. you got to cut them off, pretty much. And it'd be nice with a wider axle to get those tires out a little bit further um so yeah that's definitely the first upgrade is a wider axle that's, yeah that is there's that little there's there's a little hole here yeah if you can see over there right there and right there it starts squirting black ooze out of it everywhere oh i thought it burned your pocket no no that's just water that's drained down in the frame vibrating out Gonna get down in a hole again. she had trying to drive the driveway every bit of it you got one wheel off the ground but that was just because of the felt like i got more right there yeah. coming off that yeah well that's the Sorry. steering wheel slipping on the steering shaft sounds safe yeah the wheels are cambered which i'm sure those tie rods are, are shot and that's the problem with that style of tie rods they got on this front end it doesn't let the a-arms work like they should i should be getting another inch of suspension travel yeah but I'm not. So uh, back to the drawing board with this one. I don't know if I have an exhaust flange to make a header for this, but if we do, we're gonna make one and we're gonna jet the carb and try to squeeze any power. We're gonna pin the governor back. I mean, cause if she blows, who gives a hoot? It's a Tecumseh. What is that a 200? Two, it's like something around the 212. Yes, comparable. Yeah. yeah, it's just a Tecumseh, they didn't make nothing for it. Um, well, you started with a budget build. Is that out of the question now? just because it needs so much stuff well i mean it's running budget's done uh 200 <laughs> go-kart because it started off i paid 100 bucks for this and then we put a 100 dollars torque converter kit on it so it's 200 dollars and it's running driving just fine i mean nothing's wrong it stops it's, it's just real it's drum brakes are garbage so we need to put disc brakes on it so this is budget bill thanks for watching see you guys later we're about to go extreme <laughs> on it and go stupid parts start me up
great though. I mean, it started right up. Cranks up, first pull every time. Runs like a kitten. Well, the first time it took 19 pulls, but didn't have gas in it. So. <laughs> uh, and so we yeah. were told that when we picked it up. So this is, <laughs> look at that. I got crap all over me. I'm, I'm soaking wet from this thing. And that's water that's been in there for 27 years. I know we're gonna need new tires. These tires are dry rotted, and I hate these style that slides directly onto the axle. They suck because they get seized on all the time. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna see what we got for to boost this puppy up and take it for a rip. All right, so on this go kart, you can actually adjust the shocks, the front shocks, and they're on the the outer holes, and the A arms are hitting this uh, bar set up right here. So what we're gonna do is move the factory shocks in. And that should give us quite a bit more travel room. But it should make a difference though, for sure. And we can adjust the, the tension of the shock for softer, or harder ride, which we want it on its hardest setting. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can already tell it lifted it. And we're gonna do, after this video, we're gonna do uh, Go Power Sports 150 CC shocks, which will give it a lot more lift in the front. And we'll probably do the 150s on the rear as well. Looks like the wheels are gonna snap off. Yeah, but it's a lot more suspension, for yep. sure. Yeah. That and of course, crooked. like I said, well, yeah, these shocks aren't the newest, so you can tell if I pick up on it, it gets a lot more height. So yeah, they're worn out. This front end is caddy wampus like crazy. And there's no way to adjust um, camber on these things. That's what sucks. I wish they had fully adjustable front ends where you could just camber. So <clears throat> this muffler, oh goodness, it is rusted like a son of a gun. The bolts are so. You know, wish us luck. You can, I don't know if you can see them down there. Oh, yeah. I'll shine up. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's bad. Good gosh. Uh, 11 should be. Look over there beside that 420. May God be with us. Oh, it came out. I cannot believe it. Well, we got one more left, so. Still plenty of room for, for damage. I cannot believe. And your next those. words are. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Ah! A little hot. That was thanks to Satan right there. That's not quite a 10. We're going to jam a 10 on it. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. You can grab it by the cage and it isn't hot. Maybe. No. Okay. That's really close to a uh, GX390 close. If a, let me go grab some flanges. What are these? So that's a standard go-kart header from Go Power Sports. Can't even see it. Yeah, it's kind of hitting everything. It's it's kind of not gonna work. It's... We also have the weld your own kit. You know, we could do kind of whatever we wanted to so with, it. On fire with it. So, so we got this Coleman. This is the uh, CT200U exhaust. I think, I mean, they're the same. The U and the EX uses the same header. But uh, if we line this this up, it's going to be like that, which is awesome. So that means we can cut this bar out right here, which is pretty much useless. Uh, this pipe right here, and we can do a stack and then put an RLV muffler. Just screaming, Mimi. Just looks like a. <laughs> Volkswagen dune buggy exhaust coming out the back of it. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna go with So uh, somehow Matthew ended up with Lonnie's t-shirt by the way I, I Don't know um, next time I see him. We'll give it back to him because you can only get this shirt at the baby gap Yeah, and I and I'm, I'm not a big guy. I'm if, not. if you sneeze we're gonna see belly button For sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty close <laughs> So he's going to cut this bar out so we can get the Volkswagen header on there. Yeah, 
Did it get you? Did it hurt? Jugular. Did it catch you? No. Whew. About, about killed Matthew with this pipe. Uh, so we got this pipe off. We're, of course, we're not going to grind the little pieces off. We'll leave that for now. It adds a little class. That's good scrap metal. Okay, so now I got to uh, find some bolts. It's a quarter inch coarse thread and bolt that header on there and then we can get to messing with the carb. Should work. Only problem with this header is that, oh that one's gonna suck. Is it's right against the uh it's right against the pipe. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. So I know this is a, a budget build, but uh, I really don't want to make anybody mad right now. As much as I'd love to, I can't. Um, so we're going to slap an RLV muffler on. And I just think it looks so dang awesome. And this is a good way for us to quieten it down some. And be able to tell if we're leaking any exhaust because... Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be leaking exhaust, but uh, I don't want to take... I'm going to order some gaskets so we can pull that carb off, but right now I really don't want to make a gasket. We'll be upgrading the valve spring, or the... We'll be removing the governor very soon, so let's take it out for a rip. We also uh, modded the air box, and we just drilled a big, I think like an inch and a quarter hole in it. No, inch and three quarter hole in it, in the side of the air box, so should get all the air she wants there's that massive intake that we got going on so that should be uh you know awesome so we're going to zip tie the no governor no governor i wish i had a smaller zip tie but i don't so we're just going to use this large one and We've talked about this in other videos. The only thing zip tying the governor governor spring does is just doesn't let that spring expand. Therefore, the governor is a uh, won't engage. Definitely more comfortable with the shocks raised like that. See about going off the driveway. Okay, back to the drawing board. We actually ended up getting um, some Allen head bolts that I forgot I had. It should work out perfect on this old header. So let's see. 
Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that it works. But the problem was we couldn't get a... Uh, a little warm? Yeah. I mean, I know it's going to be, but, you know, yes, you only live one time. <laughs> it keeps falling. This is probably the most haggard thing we've ever did <laughs> on the channel. But when the budget is zero, people want to see you get, get classy. That's working for sure. It looked like I jumped the driveway a little bit better. Did you notice that? I did not, uh -oh. to be honest. <laughs> I actually, I don't think you dropped any better at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I did, folks. Folks at home. definitely got more power I mean it's still nothing that impresses you but for you know uh, okay if we count the header and the exhaust at the muffler you know mufflers pretty expensive them RLVs you really can't find nothing that good of <laughs> quality but um, so let's say we didn't throw the muffler on header you can get for like 20 25 dollars from go power sports you can get the weld your own kit and you can pretty much make this, you know, this is for the Coleman CT200U. That's why it actually stuck out like it did, which I like. I think it's neat, you know, cool. But if you figure up the torque converter is a hundred bucks, use that discount code Redbeard. Um, and then the go-kart, I actually paid a hundred dollars for this thing, which is a steal in itself, I think. So, you know, $200, we got us a fun little beater and we'll say 250 for the headers and bolts and crap that we use. So. Um, 225 and say that we're gonna need new brakes a new live axle that was brakes all the way to the floor once I got off that hill you know we'll go over this thing make it a little bit funner but overall $225 I don't think you'd go wrong with it full suspension a lot better when we moved it for sure so Matthew's gonna take it for a rip and let me know what he thinks Different. Yeah, it's it's stronger than what it was. It pulled that hill with me. Yeah, I, I did you climbed it. That? Yeah. Okay. When so it did pull the hill with me. But yeah, she's uh she's she's okay. Not the most fun in the world, but for two hundred twenty-five dollars, you ain't right. gonna have no more fun. Yeah, that for sure. that was that was actually pretty good, pretty good improvement. Yeah, the front suspension I think made a massive. Yeah, because you had hardly none before. I expected it to be a lot rougher. Oh yeah, going over the end of the driveway, yep. the old stomping that's ground. A, that's a pretty steep little kick right there. Yeah. And you know you're not flying at it like little red or you it's, know mini bike fast, but I can, it needs painted something fierce. But uh, that'll come in in good time. You know how we are on painting stuff. We don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but maybe put a new air filter let it breathe that air filter is a little rough but not horrible give it a tune up and it that's not really going to make any crazy power difference but uh and i think it may it could be spitting because we could be beating some gunk out of that tank who knows how long it's There's been since gunk coming out of everywhere else yeah yeah the seat i mean it's raining uh nastiness Black so stuff on the back of your arm <laughs> <laughs> yeah we gotta take a shower and i got church tonight so uh, definitely gonna have to go scrub down after riding this hoss i would say with lonnie on it and with you i'm sure the power is a lot better i mean pretty big weight difference but 
fun little go-kart definitely going to be doing more to it uh, so just stay tuned because this one's going to get awesome for sure Rub Your Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. GoPowerSports has a huge amount of awesome go-kart and mini bike parts. And when making your purchase, use the Red Beard discount code in the upper right-hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal. Help support our channel with some merch by going to RBGCarts.com. We have shirts, stickers, and hats, and we're adding new designs all the time. Hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode. And go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest to stay up to date with the channel. Guys, always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.